Hey guys, Brian with a quick PFC training minute here talking about uh, sort of an over the shoulder compressed low ready. What are we talking about? A traditional low ready, at least for us, is where the weapon is in contact with the pec or the shoulder and the muzzle is depressed down at a 45 degree angle. So we maintain a hinge point to mount the gun. The gun simply moves in one plane, it comes up. A high ready, the buttstock is pinched between the bicep and the body. The muzzle is slightly elevated to mount the gun. It's got to move in two planes. So in this case, the muzzle has to come down and the weapon has to move out as it comes back to reseat. The compressed over the shoulder ready is a low ready. The weapon is rotated inboard and the shoulder has the buttstock over the top of it. You can see this winds up putting my wrist in a real tight gooseneck, but it makes a small footprint in the event that we had to get very close to some space, we were blocked by something from the rear, a multitude of things. The, the wrinkle on this is that uh, the gun has to move in three planes in order to mount the weapon correctly. So what are those three planes? The gun has to move out towards the target, it has to be rotated, and the muzzle has to come up as it comes back and it finds that point on the body. We're gonna go and hop on some live evolutions here and see exactly what the times look like when we go from this hyper broken down position where we don't necessarily have the best handhold and control on it for maintaining our own gun. Back up. Back up. So consistently we were up close, we're looking at half a second mount time and engagement time for that single shot in the middle, three quarters of a second back here, about one to one and uh, a tenth of a second to about one to 1.0. So it's completely viable, but you do have to get accustomed to that process of pushing out, rolling, and then snapping back. You saw that there's a little bit more time where I got to clean up my sights a little bit more. With the, uh, with the shots that are back here at one point, I didn't land directly on the plate and I had to adjust. Give that one a try, be safe.